This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly share with you five free video editing programs that will work on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. These programs are Blender, Avidimux, OpenShot, Movie Maker, and Photo Film Strip. And again, all of these programs are completely 100% free to download and use. They're not limited trial versions. They're not any kind of a tricky, um, like, virus-embedded software or anything like that. These are the real deal, completely free software. The only one that's kind of an exception is Windows Movie Maker, which is a proprietary software by Microsoft, so you can only use it for personal use, I believe. The rest of these can be used for personal and commercial use, and you can create some very professional results with them. Um, so with that, we'll take a look at Blender first off. Now, Blender is actually a 3D animation tool, but it also has a built-in video editor. And this video editor, I dare say, is the most powerful free video editor you can get on a Windows system. So if you want to do something really high end and you want to and you want to uh, have a not pay for a video editor or get a, a free video editor, then you're going to want to use Blender. Um, the only thing is, it's going to have a, a steeper learning curve. It's going to be harder to get used to. Um, but once you're familiar with it and comfortable with it, you can do some really really cool stuff. It has all the features you're ever going to want. Um, well, maybe not ever, but. And it's, a, it's growing, too. They're always adding new features. It's open source, so there's always new developments happening with it. Anyway, you can do um, uh, video over video. You can do overlays. You can do transitions between one video to another. You can have control over the... Uh, um, you can work with multiple clips at once. So you can cut from one clip to another clip if you're doing like a documentary or an interview type thing. What else? You can switch out um, audio. You can add like music backgrounds and things, obviously. Um, you can do like green screen, chroma key, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, look into it. it uh, I should play some, do some of the video for you here. This is going, actually I didn't set my uh, frame rates correctly. It gives you all kinds of control. You kind of have to know a little bit about, about how video works, how digital video works, and different codecs and frame rates and stuff like that. Because um, it gives you, you have to know the control over that. And uh, Anyway, this is Blender. Um, if you're looking for something a little more simple, then we're getting progressively simpler as we go down, sort of. So, Avidimux is the next one. Oops. Uh, and this one um, is, a little, is easier to use. First of all, you can change videos from one format to another. So if you, if you have a f video format that's not combat compatible with like Facebook or YouTube or something you're uploading to, you have control over the audio and video codecs. Um, you can apply all different kinds of effects. And so if we go to filters here, I'll stop this first, video filters, you've got different effects. You can add like a logo at the bottom of the, the video. You can do um, cropping is pretty cool and pretty easy to use with this program. So you just go like, for example, if you wanted to crop the video so it looks sort of like this, so you only use this portion of the video, well then we've got it so our video would be just that cropped portion. So you have like an ultra wide screen, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so it's got a lot of a lot of cool things. So you might look into that. Again, they're available also Windows, Mac, and Linux. All of these, except for Movie Maker, is Windows only. Um, OpenShot. This one I'm going to switch over to a Linux computer to show it to you. So I'll switch over to that now. And here we are. So this is OpenShot. And um, I'll just quickly drag in a file and show you. It, they all kind of have the, a similar interface. So if I do a couple clips here, you can just drag and drop them right in. And then we drag it down here to the track. And then we've got some different things here. I can also do audio files. So if we do uh, music, we'll just do a couple different things. And then we have our project here. And so we can just play. This feels kind of like Windows Movie Maker if you've used it before. Again, I didn't set up my uh, my video profile correctly, so I've got lines on the top and at the bottom. Um, but this will show you that. So some of the effects I can do, I can do audio effects where I just drag and drop them over top of the audio. I can do video effects where I just drag and drop them, like if I want to do a dramatic one here, just so you can see what's actually happening. We can do, where's my invert? I'll just do tint. So we'll just do a tint on this video, and then it'll apply a bluish tint to it, and I can customize that and change it too. You can also do some chroma key stuff with this. You can do um, transitions between one video and another. You can work with just image files to do like a video slideshow. 
Um, and then you can also import in and export different video types and audio types and things like that. It, it accepts a, a large variety. So that's OpenShot. And the reason I'm showing you it on Linux is because it is currently under development for Windows and Macintosh, um, but it's not quite there yet. Um, but it'll be very soon. Um, probably by, if by the time you, if you're, wa I'm making this video mid 2014. So if you're watching this in 2015, you can probably download it already for for Windows and Macintosh. Okay, this next one, Movie Maker, is one that most people are probably familiar with. It comes free with Windows. Sometimes you have to download it, um, but it but it is a, a free program, and so you just um, put in your video your video clips here. And you can also drag and drop like we did on with OpenShot. And then we'll just change this. And so you can also add um, audio files. Uh, you can do steel shots. And then you can do different, you can add like titles and captions and things like that. Um, different effects you can also do. I think you, dra you drag and drop them. or Oh, you click on the clip and then go to the effect and just click on it. So you can apply different things. And every time I make a video about Movie Maker, it crashes. Like, I'm not kidding. And so... I don't know. It's I don't know, but when I'm using it, I've used it before without crashing. But so you got to take it for what it is. But once OpenShot is available on Windows, I I probably never even use Movie Maker again. Not that I even use it that often, but it's a good option. It's really simple and easy to use. So if you're not too video and computer literate, you may want to use Movie Maker. Um, okay, this last one, Photo Film Strip, is actually just um, for doing. Uh, video, uh, picture videos. So what you do, you set these boxes, you set a certain size, so I have like a 16 to 9 ratio, like a widescreen ratio, and then you set them on each of these pictures, and then it'll pan from this side to this side over here. And I'll show you a, a little rendered video that I did of this to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, you can do this this kind of effect with all the other video editors I've shown you, but this photo film strip program is by far the fastest and easiest way to do it and it creates like high definition high quality video um, so it's really cool really professional again free for personal and commercial use open source um, windows linux and macintosh so if you're a photographer if you do video editing and all you mostly do is pictures like this um, use photo film strip because it's awesome and then you can always um, Put it into any of these other ones once it's rendered and add audio files to it add like music for the background and things okay well that was just a quick run through hope that gave you an idea for what is available oh uh, i was going to show you real quick but i i don't know if i'll show you or not but there's a program just for linux called kden live or kdn live and it is really really cool too so if you want to switch over to linux or if you have a linux system available um that's the only thing I would recommend in addition to these is Caden Live for Linux. It's also a great video editor. Um, well, yeah, that is this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Check out my other videos here on YouTube. I'm doing some on uh, where you can get free video stock footage and free audio for your to, for your videos and stuff like that. Uh, more information at my website, tjfree.com. Um, go ahead and subscribe for more free uh, free videos like this about or videos about free software. And I hope you have a wonderful and a productive day, week, year, and life.